Just please have a severe weather safety plan. Know your safe place within your house. Know where to get your weather warnings. The WFAA app, it's, it's fantastic. It's free. By the way, you can stream all of our live newscasts. We were on the air late, late Saturday night. Uh, meteorologist Greg Fields, meteorologist Kyle Roberts, just updating everyone on the on the latest line of storms that was moving through. We also have weather call. I have this at my house. You should too. It's 10 bucks for the year. You get a phone call at your house, your home phone, your cell phone. You can get a text message. You can get an email. You can get all of the above, whatever you want. Weather call, WFA.com slash weather call and all of our social media channels. I give you my word, there is not a television station in this this market, and I would argue not a television station in this country that keeps you updated on social media like we do here at WFAA. So you subscribe to our social media channels, my Twitter page, Facebook page, the station info. It is hands down the best of the best. I promise you that. Tornado severe storm safety. Here's what you need to do. Here's a picture of your house. You need to go to the ground level, get off the second floor, the third floor, any elevated floor. And if you have a basement, God bless you. Most of us don't. But if you have a basement, go to the basement. Tornadoes don't go underground. Just go to that ground level floor. Pick an interior room like Cynthia just mentioned. Maybe that's the bathroom. OK, you go to the interior room because you want to put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. That interior room away from exterior walls, away from windows. Remember, people get hurt. People get killed by flying debris. So you want to put as much protection between you and your family and the flying debris that possibly could be moving across uh, your house or maybe the neighborhood at that moment. So please have that safety plan in place. We have clear skies out there right now. I have no severe weather in my forecast as we head through the overnight. That's a little bit of patchy fog. I don't expect it to be as dense. I don't expect it to be as moist as it was this morning because it certainly was. It was pretty damp out there, but I do expect some patchy fog to start the day as we head through tomorrow and then the sun will come out tomorrow just like it did today. Tonight, that patchy fog develops, light winds and muggy. 64 is a low tonight during the day tomorrow. After the clouds and the fog in the morning, the sun comes out. It's a dry, warm, breezy day. We hit 86. I have no rain in my forecast as we look at the next 14 days other than I thought it froze. It did freeze up for a second, but look, it's found its life again. There's a little rain on Wednesday, 30% of us. 70, 80% of us see showers and thunderstorms and potentially some severe weather on Thursday. Friday, rain. Saturday rain, Sunday rain. It's almost like the Byron Nelson Golf Tournament, Mike. It's that time of year. A little rain on Monday. We dry out Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The following weekend we have rain. Now, 